Hello, Bamco. What the heck is happening with Gundam Battle Operations 2 on PC right now? Hello mates, this is Noir Ark and Light, and tonight I am very disappointed. Last night was supposed to be a great night for Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations 2 on PC was finally officially released. But instead, it became a whirlpool of disaster due to two things. Server instability and freaking smurfs, man. First, let's talk about this game's server connection because at least as per recording, a lot of players, me included, are having issues with matchmaking. You know, the main pillar of the game. I played this last night with my friends watching via Discord live streaming. I am using a fiber connection as my gateway to the internet, and while PHNet is shite, it should have been sufficient enough to play any game that requires the internet. But GBO2 says, fuck you, failed matchmaking, and then throw me back off to the home base lobby. I can't even just wait for a teammate to join me, it just shows this warning sign, then I get kicked out. This back and forth persisted for several attempts, until I relented for a bit and just played the battle simulator part of the game, which I actually enjoyed, although still no co-op because of the said server issue. When I do get to play the game though, which is just 4 times in the entire 3 hour play, most of the time me and my team were decimated by a bunch of high skill enemy team. Well, I don't know, maybe I just suck at the game right now while using a mobile suit that was unsuited for the map that I had no idea existed until now. But the fact that my teammates also get picked one by one without any means of countering tells me that smurfs are very prevalent around this time frame in the game. I mean, we just freaking landed on the map, man. And then suddenly, three mobile suits are already on my front and then just shooting us one by one? Well, that doesn't seem fair. And I don't know how they pull up those freaking fast moves, man. I mean, at least in Gundam Evolution, you know how much dashes or boost your enemy has when you see them. But in GBO2, it's like I'm it's a guessing game, man. Yes, yes, it's a part of the game, but still it's it's pretty jarring to say the least. Uh, by the way, I played the OG gun tank in a very small circular map called Colony Base or something. So I still do am a stupid in this game. Oh, I guess the saying, don't bring treads to a legged fight, is true to maps like these. In other parts of the game though, my point still stands from the last bit that I reviewed this game. It still runs pretty well on my low budget rig, even when I'm streaming it on Discord at 60fps 1080p. And even though you can definitely see the age of its 10 year old graphics, it still looks better than that of Lord of the Rings Gollum game. The controls will have some getting used to, but once you're set the game is pretty fun to play when the teams are freaking balanced. As of recording though, the reviews for this game is mostly negative because to the matchmaking issues, which, as of right now, they haven't even fixed, by the way. Well, that's it for my mini rant this evening. I really do want to enjoy playing Gundam Battle Operations 2. It's one of the games which I 
definitely am looking forward to but Bamco please please fix your freaking servers man now I have experienced what they call the Bamco server surprise even Gundam Evolution launch isn't this disastrous you know at least what I have known of it oh well I guess we can just wait until the release of the game this has been a war arc and light and I'm out of here mm -hmm.